So you're looking for a new Wi-Fi router, but you're hoping to get a 2.5 gigabit port. Today, I'm taking a look at the TP-Link Archer AX80, courtesy of TP-Link. The AX80 is equipped with 802.11 AX or Wi-Fi 6 capable radios. The 5 GHz band on the AX80 offers up to 4,804 megabits per second, and the 2.4 GHz band can offer up to 1,148 megabits per second. For Wi-Fi connectivity, that's amazingly fast. There's been decently fast Wi-Fi 6 access points for a couple of years now, but now we finally have a reasonably priced wireless router that features Wi-Fi 6 and a 2.5 gigabits LAN-WAN port for a pretty good price. The AX80 from TP-Link thankfully has a switchable LAN-WAN 2.5 gigabits per second port as well as a switchable 1 gigabits per second LAN-WAN port. This means that if you either have a 2.5 gigabit per second NAS, like I do, you could run your Synology, Unraid, or whatever you have to share files over your network. That's likely going to be a huge upgrade for most of us, especially if you run a home lab. Alternatively, if you don't have a NAS at home, but say you have Verizon Fios or Google Fiber or some other fast internet service, you can connect the ethernet port or the handoff from your internet to the 2.5 gigabits per second port and enjoy super fast Wi-Fi connections. You'll be able to potentially get over one gigabit per second out to the internet or have multiple devices on your network get that one or two gigabit per second speed. My very first router, I was stuck on a blue WRT54G for what seemed like years. Now you can get up to two and a half gigabits per second wirelessly. Since I already have a NAS at home that could talk at 2.5 gigabits, I connected my Unraid server to that port. Since I don't have one gigabit per second internet, this made the most sense for me. In testing on my laptop with the Intel AX200 Wi-Fi card, I was able to get over 1 gigabit per second over Wi-Fi in most of my house. For my testing, I was transferring to and from my Unraid NAS, hitting the NVMe SSD cache. This kind of speed over Wi-Fi is honestly just insane. In terms of the compute power on board, this router has a quad-core CPU and 512 megabytes of RAM which might not sound like a lot, but for a router like this, that's actually a ton of power. The local administration for the web GUI is honestly awesome. The web pages are all easy to read and understand, and most, if not all, of the features have a tooltip explanation. There's quite a few graphics and charts. I think they're all done very nicely and are very helpful and usable. This might not seem like an important part, but it definitely is nice if you're actually going to configure this device and you want to learn more about networking. Now that we have some of that stuff out of the way, it's time to take a look at the feature set on the AX80. The AX80 actually supports a ton of features, like a real lot of features. We're getting the ability to run the router in dedicated AP mode, which is something I definitely appreciate. We're able to schedule automatic firmware updates to get critical bug and security fixes. We can also automatically schedule device restarts overnight when nobody is awake or using the Wi-Fi. This will help clear out the memory and the cache on the device to keep it running nice and fast. We can actually configure individual or combined guest networks on the 2.4 GHz and 5 GHz bands. We can go even further to throttle the guest networks, and we can separate the guests so that they can't talk to each other. That's actually a pretty useful security feature. Potentially, if you're a home user, you might not want this, but if you're a small or medium business, you probably do. I like that this router comes with a built-in speed test function. In terms of the wireless security, we are getting WPA2, which is commonly supported, and support for WPA3. We can accomplish all of the standard features that you expect on a Soho router like this, DHCP, DNS, basic static routing functions. The AX80 goes above and beyond, in my opinion, with the ability to run not only a VPN client, but also a VPN server directly on the router. You can either connect the router to a VPN service that you've subscribed to, or create a VPN server on the router, allowing you to securely and remotely access your home network when you're away. 
The TP-Link ecosystem supports one mesh in order to create connections between all of the newer TP-Link routers in case you determine that you need a second router to increase your wireless coverage in your space. TP-Link is starting to roll this feature out to more product categories and some of the slightly older routers too from what it seems like. This is a really nice feature which allows you to expand your network. You also have the ability to create local VLANs for segmenting network traffic. For example, you should always separate out your IoT devices from all of your PCs. There's a ton of other features like built-in IPTV support, DDNS, local USB storage, which is nice if you don't have a NAS, and media shares. You can actually create media shares served by the router for your network. There's honestly even more features than this, probably too much to even cover in one video. I'm quite surprised at how functional and useful this router is. The AX80 is completely configurable from the local web administration address, but you can add this to your TP-Link account, which allows you to use the Tether app from TP-Link for control and administration. You also have the option to subscribe to the Home Shield service. Home Shield offers some advanced networking security features like network analysis, cloud IPS, malicious content filtering or blocking, and DDoS protection. This service also allows you to set up and configure parental controls in an easy way. Automated scanning and reporting are also part of this. I definitely have to call attention to in a time where a lot of vendors are forcing you into the cloud to really get any kind of functionality, TP-Link really stands out here because they have so many features that are well thought out and well designed that you're able to configure from the local administration address, which means if you don't want to, you do not have to add this to your TP-Link cloud account. The emphasis that TP-Link has placed on growing and improving the TP-Link ecosystem, making it friendlier to use, and bringing more overall value to the Soho networking space is extremely nice to see. I've been using some other TP-Link equipment before I got this one for review, but I would definitely say the AX80 is a very quality unit. I've recommended TP-Link to friends and family quite a bit lately because they really bring a lot of value in the Soho networking space. In my opinion, I really see TP-Link aiming to be the new disruptor in the networking space, especially for prosumer or small business networking. If you're looking for a feature-rich Wi-Fi 6 router, I would definitely take a look at the TP-Link AX80. Not only are you getting Wi-Fi 6, but you're getting configurable LAN-WAN 1 and 2.5 gigabit per second ports.